Cam, uh, you guys were playing, I think, defensively, especially exactly the way you've won a lot of games. How disappointing is it to lose lose a game like that where you're playing all, the way you want to play defensively? Yeah, it's it's frustrating um, for sure. I mean, you could tell that they were starting to take over the last 10 minutes. So um, I'm not sure why we kind of backed off and uh, we just we were making plays out of our zone and just kind of flipping it. And, um, you know, we got away from our style a little bit and they capitalize on those opportunities. Um, so, I mean, it's nice that we got a point, but I think we should have came away with two points. Cam, you're continuing to score. Uh, just take us through your goal and, and getting yourself in the position to score and deflect that puck. Yeah, you know, I'm battling in front a little bit. Jonesy actually had a good play, and I tipped it, uh, kept the play alive. And, um, you know, I, it was good D to D to to, uh, to Z, and I was just trying to find some ice. I knew Z had the lane to shoot, and uh, I was lucky enough to get a tip on it. Line A uh, fights in the first period. What, what what does that do for you guys when you see that guy who's known for his goal scoring drop the gloves? Yeah, that's huge for us. I mean, I think that you could see the boys on the bench were really jacked up. Um, you know, it's uh, it's exciting to see. Um, you know, that's that's what you want with a teammate, and um, you know, it's uh, if he can do it, everyone else can do it, right? So, um, I, I think we much rather him uh, on the ice scoring goals. But uh, in those situations, I was big for our club. Next, we'll go to Aaron Portsline. Go ahead, Aaron. Thanks, Glenn. Hey, Cam. Um, I don't know if this makes the last ten minutes worse, but it seem it seems like you guys the last couple of games have really started to find yourself in terms of getting out of the, your own zone quicker and more fluidly. Did, did you see that? And, and where did that go, I guess, in the in the final 10? That's a good question. I mean, that's what I said to Dave. Um, it seemed like we were getting away from our, our style of play, like we were on our heels instead of on our toes and trying to make plays through the middle. We just kind of went up the boards or, all, uh, you know, off the glass and out and uh, gave them more possession when, uh, you know, in the first two periods, two periods and a half, we – controlled the play and and broke out of our end clean and um obviously if we didn't have a play by the blue line the offensive zone we would dump it and try to get it back but I think we got away from that a little bit for whatever reason Cam did you get a chance to see line A's goal um I mean I was on the ice for it so yeah I mean did you see how it, uh, through the legs top shelf you know what I kind of saw it like I was kind of behind him thinking he was going to drop drop pass which I'm glad yeah. he didn't so like I I didn't like I guess I didn't see where it exactly when I knew it went top shelf, though. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. Next, we'll go to Brian Hedrick. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, Cam. Um, you know, these overtimes uh, are kind of tough for you guys this year. This is something, an area where you guys really excelled in in years before. What needs to change most, do you think, in, in those particular scenarios? I think just winning a draw. I think that's the most important thing. You win the draw, you you have full control, and you're not on your heels. Um, you know, it's uh, plain and simple. It's uh, when you win the draw, it's a lot of good things happen and you get a lot of opportunities. Is, it, is there really any way you could even practice three on three? No, you know, what? it's uh, there's so much ice available. It's just at some point it's man on man uh, as well. So um, obviously we have to be aware of who's on the ice, obviously when Kane's out there. But um, yeah, that's a tough one. All right. Thanks, Kim. All right. Thanks, Kim. Thank you.